Mayor de Blasio is talking right now about that heat and how the city wants to help New Yorkers. Let's listen in. We want to make sure that all New Yorkers are aware of the measures that the city is taking and also, of course, the measures that each resident can take to protect themselves and their family. And most importantly, want to urge all New Yorkers to be cautious. This is very high heat. Uh, this is going to be one of the hottest days of the year and tomorrow as well. I want people to be very careful. First, stay hydrated. Make sure you're constantly drinking water. Even when you don't feel an immediate need, just make it a point to constantly keep hydrated. Uh, stay indoors if you can and out of the sun if you can. And if you have to go out, don't stay in the sun any longer than you have to. As we've said in other uh, moments of challenge, check on your neighbors. Please check on your neighbors, particularly senior citizens and folks with health challenges. Anybody you know who has a medical condition that might make them vulnerable to the heat, check on them. And if they need help, help them get it. Uh, anyone who's feeling the effects of the heat and needs relief, uh, state the obvious, get somewhere where there is air conditioning. And as we did a few days ago, we're doing again. We've set up over 500 cooling centers across the five boroughs. They're available to anyone who needs them. That includes libraries, community centers, senior centers, park recreation facilities, etc. Anyone who needs to get to a cooling center can call 311 for the location nearest them or can go online at nyc.gov slash OEM and they can find a location that works for them. We've extended the hours at city swimming pools until 8 p.m. And Department of Homeless Services, you'll hear from the commissioner in a moment, has issued a code red alert. There's enhanced outreach to homeless who are on the streets and we're providing transportation to get them to cooling centers as well. Now, the challenge we talked about last time, we're going to talk about again, is that we want to make sure everyone stays as cool as they can and we want to make sure that people get the air conditioning who need it, but we also have a problem with the amount of electricity that's being used because of the heat. As the temperature goes up, so does energy usage. And that creates the danger of blackouts and brownouts. And we do not want to see that happen in this city on any major scale. So right now, there's a big strain on our electrical grid. So I want you to hear both messages loud and clear. If someone needs to get to air conditioning, they should do so. And we have places where they can do it if they don't have air conditioning themselves. But air conditioning can be set at 78 degrees. Mayor de Blasio is speaking at City Hall, giving us the latest on the effects of the hot and humid day. And we can tell you, he was just talking about the electricity, it's been really tough for one Brooklyn neighborhood. Hundreds lost power overnight. And on this summer scorcher, they're going to not be worried about getting it back quickly. That's right. Con Ed crews are now trying to work to restore that. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch joins us live from Crown Heights with more. Vanessa? Mixed signals here in Crown Heights, Brooklyn. Take a look. It was about seven minutes ago now that the traffic lights first came back on, then they went off, and now they're back on again. But at least we can say there's progress in the right direction after a very dark and warm start here in Crown Heights when more than 800 customers woke up without power and without air conditioning. Unbearable. In fact, I, I had no choice in the middle of the night. I had to go to my brother-in-law's house to sleep. A miserable night without power along Union Street. Before daybreak, our camera caught Con Ed crews working to restore power. Just before noon, they're still on the scene and still no juice. One of the hottest days of the year. Please, Con Edison, help us, please. Business owners along this stretch say Con Ed is costing them. I have a computer company over here. I can't open my door, my garage, my electricity. My whole business is shut down right now. We're losing money. Owner of the Albany Bakery, who didn't want to go on camera, says the fact that the power's been out for more than 12 hours now is ridiculous. Says he's losing business and money, and it's not the first time. Just two weeks ago, he had to throw out thousands of dollars of food from the freezer. Meanwhile, just across the street, the cleaners got lucky. In a gesture of goodwill, a neighbor ran an extension cord so they could open for business. This is just unexcusable. It's like a third world country, what's going here with Con Edison. Con Edison spokesperson Michael Clendenin tells us getting electricity back up and running is their priority. Well, our goal during heat waves like this is to try to keep the outages small in number, short in duration. In Crown Heights, it seems the outage went a little longer than short. How long have you been without power? For the whole night. As we near peak heat this afternoon, we can all help avoid a brownout. 
conserve energy. The city advises setting your AC at 78 degrees. And the FDNY hopes to help you beat the heat by applying sprinkler caps to hydrants when requested by an adult resident. They cut the amount of water that spills out from 1,000 gallons per minute to 25. Our main concern is fire protection. And we also understand you know, we were all kids once too playing in the streets. And we understand that kids want to get cooled off. All right, so keeping cool, the name of the game today. I want to talk about powder outages just for another second here. Looking good still here in Crown Heights. In Prospect Park, about 300 customers are about without power there. And Con Ed says 7 p.m. is the estimated restoration time. So still a long ways to go for some. At present, the temperature, according to the Mobile Weather Lab, at 91 degrees here in Crown Heights, feeling like 94. Certainly a summer scorcher out here. We're live in Crown Heights with the Mobile Weather Lab. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.